Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. We are going to be doing a few projects around the house as well as decorating my office which I'm so happy with the way it turned out. You'll see at the end of the video how cute it looks. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. We also update you on a few other projects we have completed in the house, so stay tuned for those. Hi everyone, so for today's video, we are going to be decorating. I have a few projects I wanna get done, just like small projects. Um, you'll see those to come. Um, we're going to hopefully set up a little bit of my office slash guest room. Um, I have a lot of decorations that I bought for this room. I want to do a gallery wall above the day bed right there. And then I have this bookshelf I want to decorate as well as my desk. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll also give you an update on some of the things that we've been working on the last couple days. We've been in here for a week now, so we've been working our tails off trying to get uh, as many projects done as we can. We're having a few guests over for 4th of July, so I want it to look nice when they're here. And because we're just really excited about being in our house. We've only ever rented, so we haven't really got to do permanent finishing touches. So we've just been really excited to make this house our style and our home. So if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. You get notified on all of my upcoming videos. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first project I'm starting here is for my bathroom. I wanted to display uh, the Epsom salts and like some bath bombs in here. So I'm just washing it out before I empty those uh, in this cute little jar that I end up putting on my bathtub. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all the time when you're around. Aren't these so cute? This one says spa, and then it came in a pack of two. Let me show you the other one. And then this one says bath. They remind me of those, um, cute like urban outfitter ones that are like the shape of like a peach or a lemon and have cute sayings on it and these I found at Walmart I think they're like 16 or 20 dollars super cheap super fluffy you can see like the words are raised so cute I'm gonna switch them out in here Okay, and then these ones I got to match and to put under our sink right here. They're the um, Better Homes and Garden line. I think those ones were too. I'll show you the package here in a minute. But they're nice. They're that like plush material that matches that. The only bad thing about this style rug is Sterling, our dog, likes to lay on them and since he sheds a lot, his hair like gets embedded in these and you can't like run your vacuum over these. So you just won't be allowed to lay on them. So, why? So, why? Why so here's how these look in the bathroom. I really like how it turned out. They're really cute. These, one, these are our old ones we got from Costco. We loved them. They're a great size, but when I went to put them in the washer, this happened. So, they were ruined. They had a good life. Okay, so for a quick little house update on the couple projects we've done, it's mostly been in the kitchen. So we put our 
cabinet hardware on all of our cabinets. They are a matte, like brushed gold. I am obsessed with how it turned out. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted um, a couple like boomerangs yesterday showing that those are done. I was really worried it was gonna clash with our like big stainless steel appliances, but I think it actually complements it really well. Um, what else? Oh, we put our new faucet and filtered water faucet in. These turned out really great. This faucet is actually pretty cool. It's like the sensor one, you know? So you touch it and it turns on and off if you're cooking and your hands are gross. Um, so this is where I put my rings when I'm washing dishes or my hands. And then I got these two clear soap bottles with the gold lid uh, from Target. And then this plate is from at home. So if you can tell, I'm obsessed with the ginger jar prints. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby, I don't know if I said that. And then the two faucets are from Amazon. So I was really concerned about matching all the gold and making sure it was the same like undertone as close as I could find. But I think they all turned out pretty good. I'll show you from this angle. These two match really well. And they're like the same look. This one's showing up a little lighter on camera, but they're really close in uh, colors. Oh, and then this was also another project we did. We hung the pendant lights. So I actually spray painted those because they came in like a really dark wicker color and I wasn't in love, so I painted them, or I just spray painted them like a light linen color. I mean, I really like how it looks when the light is shining through them as well. And then these, they actually came with just like a, a cord to plug them in, like they're meant to be like a nightstand lamp or something. Um, but I bought those poles, we kind of had to like rig it to where these would work but my husband's amazing and he figured it out so props to him yeah so those are gold faucets are gold um the hardware is gold so i'm trying to include as much gold accents in here as i can eventually i want to change out the doorknobs to a like sleek handle matte gold to kind of tie in with the hardware, but that's way down the road. And then I also want like my uh, countertop accessories to be all natural wood grain and like the olive wood style um, wood. So that's kind of where all this inspo came from. And then, oh, these two cabinets we messed up the holes. They are not in the center, so we have to go color match this color paint to fill those in and redo those, but not letting it ruin my day. So here's this little station set up. We hung this picture above our little like Lazy Susan bar. This does spin. Um, we have our electric wine opener on that. I don't know if that will stay there because I'm not loving the cord. But I love how it's all coming together. Lights out, heart speeding faster in a minute. Okay, so for the next project that we're going to work on, I got these little containers from Walmart today too. I'm putting pre-workout in the bigger one, and then in these two, I'm putting stuff that I put in my protein shakes every morning. Okay, so 
So let's get started in my office, setting up the gallery wall right above the day bed. So what I'm doing first is laying out all the pictures that I got for the gallery wall and figuring out a setup of how I want it all to look before we start putting it on the wall so I know how I want it to look before we start making holes on the wall. So once I decided how I liked it, Ryan is helping me hang up everything. This is a very tedious process, but I'm so happy with the way it turns out in the end. You feel that begin hard going on and we're rebels at least for tonight. Okay, to quickly go over where everything's from. The eye dream catcher thing is from Home Goods, and so is the cow skull that you see on the left. And then everything else is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got it all on clearance about two weeks ago. Okay, so now for across the room, Ryan is hanging up the acrylic calendar that I also got on clearance at Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago. And I am decorating and deciding how I want this ladder bookshelf to look. I've had this in a couple of our other houses that we lived in, and I just love the way all my little knickknacks look on it. Okay, so here's how the office turned out after we finished the gallery wall. I think it turned re out really pretty. I think I still wanna get maybe something small to fill in that space, but I like how it is for now. This is my little fairy garden that I'll bring to my classroom once school starts, but I think it looks cute there for now. And then on this wall, we put the starburst mirror, and this is the wall we'll eventually wallpaper. And then there's the door, and then this is the bookshelf, and how I styled that. The printer had to go in here, so that took up the bottom shelf. And then this is the acrylic calendar that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby. It comes out from the wall um, and it's see-through, so I really like how that turned out. I put the little sheepskin rug there, and then here's my desk. We had this in our old house in our extra bedroom, and Ryan ended up getting a new one, so this works well in here. I like the desk to be clear on the top. So there's less distractions. Um, and then down here, just a trash can and other things. And then this, I still need to organize a little bit. But I like the, I put the paper under here just so it looks a little cuter. But I need to get like more of these to organize it better. But it works for now. So I really like how the office slash guest room turned out. I think it looks really cute. 